It's day 152 of the project and today I'm taking a look back at a fragrance that was on everybody's lips in the fragrance community when I first set up the channel uh, back in 2020. But since then the hype seems to have died down a little bit uh, and uh, it was a subscriber who actually asked me a few weeks ago whether I'd tried this one or not so I thought I'd uh, dig it back out again and uh, tell you what I think of it. This one is Salvatore Ferragamo Huomo and to find out all about this one stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 152 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is Salvatore Ferragamo Huomo, uh, which is classed as an amber woody fragrance for men, uh, which was launched in 2016. This is the 100ml bottle size, which you can pick up for around about £49.99 from the fragrance shop, uh, but they do an 18% discount with the code FRAGRANCE18, which brings the price down to £40.18, which I think is uh, fairly reasonable for this one. Yeah, so into the presentation and I think the box looks really cool and it sets a really good first impression. It comes in a metallic chrome and black finish with this quirky scrambled text effect on the front which spells out the word Ferragamo and then we have the uh, name of the fragrance running through it in chrome which has like a, a, a raised finish. There's also the uh, the size and the concentration printed on the box lower down uh, and in this case it's an eau de toilette concentration. The sides are just plain matte black uh, and at the top you do get another Salvatore Ferragamo logo. The back is plain apart from just a, a little bit of detail in at, the, at the bottom and then right underneath you get your usual uh, product information, your barcode and your batch code. And for all you batch code hunters out there, the batch code on this one is 20I88AR1. Yeah, the bottle again feels extremely well made. It's got some really good weight to it. It also looks great with this um, Ferragamo embossed design that runs down the uh, the sides and that's finished in like a, a matte black. Uh, the front and the back of the bottle is clear so you can see the, uh, the juice levels. And you've also got this like a nice inward curve at the front of the bottle. Uh, there's the uh, the name of the fragrance again uh, on the front printed in black and then at the top we've got a Ferragamo embossed logo that's printed into the, uh, the this plate at the top of the atomizer. The only minor negative about the design is that the atomizer actually looks like a cap and you end up trying to pull it off if you haven't sprayed it for a while. So just be careful otherwise you may end up with a, with a broken sprayer. But apart from that I think the presentation is absolutely first class and I really like how this one's presented and I'll uh, waste a couple of sprays so you can see the spray quality. So everything's really nice in this one, really nice presentation. Yeah, so the top notes in this one are cardamom, black pepper and bergamot. In the heart there's sweet notes, orange blossom and ambroxan. And the base notes in this one are tonka bean, sandalwood and cashmere wood. Yeah, so this one opens up very sweet, but also very spicy. And the first thing that you're going to get hit by is the cardamom and the black pepper. And I don't really get much in the way of like the citrus from the bergamot whatsoever. It's a, a strange and a unique opening because you get this slight syrupy sweet note that comes straight through from the heart of the scent. But then there's also uh, this slightly bitter green cardamom note and lots of pepper up top, which shouldn't really work in theory, but it actually does and it's uh, quite unique and quite quirky and interesting. This is the scent that Jeremy Fragrance describes as like smelling like uh, the dessert tiramisu, but unfortunately I can't confirm or deny this uh, whether it smells like tiramisu because I've never once smelled or, or tasted that particular food stuff in the whole of my life. So uh, maybe I might give it a try uh, in the near future. Uh, but that description now seems to follow this fragrance around like a bad smell, excuse the pun. Uh, but yes, this is uh, definitely a very sweet and a spicy scent that goes off in uh, into the like the Gormon territory. 
I get kind of a, a mocha kind of a aroma with a sweet chocolatey accord blended with a mildly bitter roasted coffee note and a, maybe a slight hint of woodiness as well in the background. As it gets far into the dry down it becomes more powdery and I get like a dusty uh, cocoa type of aroma. It's a warm and a comforting smell, uh, but this is not a mass appealing fragrance and I've had people tell me that the, uh, they really can't get along with this one and it was, it was a little bit like that for me at, uh, at first when I first bought it. However, I can now appreciate it a lot more and it's definitely grown on me over time and as you can see I've uh, put, a, put a pretty hefty dent in it, uh, but it's still not one that I'd be uh, totally confident in recommending as a blind buy, especially uh, if you're kind of new to uh, like, well not new to designer, but if, you, if you're only ever used to the likes of uh, Dior Sauvage or um, uh, Versace Eros or something like that, this one is, uh, is a little bit more dark and it's probably a heading towards more your niche end of the, uh, the the designer spectrum yeah this is one for the cooler months of the year or to wear in the evenings it's too sweet for a, a warm weather scent and it'd also be a little bit cloying to wear as like a daytime scent for uh, for the office I think this is one of them scents where it's uh, it's important to wear it for in the right environment uh, to really appreciate it fully it's great on a cool crisp day uh, during the autumn or even to wear over the festive period. It also works well as like a date night fragrance because it's because uh, of its like sweet and cozy scent profile. It leans more masculine in my opinion and I think uh, men of any age could definitely pull this one off because it has it has got like a, a quite sophisticated and grown up uh, scent DNA. Yeah, the performance on this one is a bit of a strange one for me because a lot of people seem to claim that this is like a, a 12 hour beast mode fragrance. Uh, but from my personal experience, I get like a, a strong first hour of projection, followed by maybe two or three hours as like a mild skin scent. And then it just vanishes. Uh, it does perform a little bit better if I go heavier on the sprayer and maybe apply a, a few extra sprays to my clothes uh, but it's never really got me any unsolicited uh, compliments and I'd say that for the most part uh, it's one that has a, like a mild projection and you'll get subtle wafts of it uh, throughout the day as the wearer uh, but it's definitely, definitely not a, an attention grabber or a, a room filling fragrance uh, but that's just coming from my own experience of wearing it. If you like sweet gourmands and you've got £40 spare and you're looking for a unique and quirky smelling fragrance uh, then this one could be right up your street. It's one that for some people it will take a little bit of uh, getting used to, especially if you are coming from like say your, your Invictus, your Dior Sauvage or your Versace Eroses uh, because this is very chocolatey sweet rather than being fresh and mass appealing. The presentation is great, the performance on me personally is not the best, but overall I think it's a really enjoyable and interesting fragrance, and for that reason I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, so once again that's about it for today's scent of the day, but don't forget tomorrow I'm talking about a gentleman's classic for the uh, spring and summer, so don't forget to look out for that one. I've also got another perfume parlour haul to go through and plenty more in the 365 project so loads of good stuff coming up. And as always if you have found this video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear your uh, opinions, your thoughts and your critiques and all of the fragrances that feature in this 365 project so don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again, thank you very much once again for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.